Nice. Uh, it's Chris again here from the Engine Room, talking to you today about the next part of our program explanation, which is called progressive overload. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just explain that to you and show you how that system is going to work. So let's imagine that we're starting the program, it's the 17th of July, and we are starting with the barbell back squat. Okay, so. Barbell back squat, 17 of the seven. And my first set, I'm gonna try and attempt 40 kilos for that barbell back squat. And I make eight repetitions. So set one equals 40 times eight, complete. My second set, I do 40, feeling strong, and I manage eight reps again. Third set, 40 kilos, starting to feel a bit weaker now. I only managed seven reps, guys. Fourth set, final set, it's really getting to me now. I only make four repetitions. The way the progressive overload system works is when this next workout comes back around in five days time, okay, if I'm coming back and trying to improve my strength, the fact that I have not been able to complete four sets of eight means that I need to stay on the same weight until I complete four sets of eight. Okay, so let's take it 21st of the seventh, four or five days after when I first did it, roughly, I come back in the gym and I manage the four sets of eight. Okay, so 40 times eight, 40 times eight, 40 times eight, 40 times eight. Happy days, I'm stronger, okay? Even in one work, I'm doing this fantastic system at the end of and I've seen already that I have progressively got stronger. Brilliant. Okay, four or five days later, 25th of the seventh, I increased the weight by a forced 5%. So it's nice and easy mathematically, guys. Whenever you complete your four sets of eight, you can then go up by 5%. Okay, so 40 kilos, 5% is another two kilos. So I hit it up 42 times eight, 42 times eight, 42 times eight, 42 times seven. Quite frustrating, but that means in the next workout, I still stay at 42 kilos. Guys, I hope this makes sense to you. Any questions, please feel free, comment below, fire me a question in my direct messages, or ask any of the coaches here at the studio. Okay, but that is the general theme and the idea behind progressive overload. Until you've completed your four sets of eight, you cannot increase your loading. So every time you come in, guys, we want you to try and look to improve these numbers. It's our job as coaches to make sure you're performing it correctly and safely, and give you commentary and advice on exactly how much that 5% increase should look like, and what your tempo should be like, and where your elbow should be, and where your butt should be, and where your knees should be, and all that kind of stuff that is the coaching responsibility. It's your responsibility, guys, to keep records. Okay, I want you to keep records, keep it in your phone, get a notebook, whatever it takes, but that's your responsibility. There's far too many people in the session for us to record every number of every set of every workout, okay? So please, 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 in the meantime, between now and the 17th, work out how you're gonna do this. How are you gonna record these numbers? Is it gonna be on your phone? Is it gonna be in a notebook? However it is, just make sure you're organized and ready for when we launch on the 17th of July. Thanks guys, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.